You should also focus on connecting with her, yes, and making a bond with her and her feeling similar to you, but you want to focus mostly on getting physical quickly than the intellectual. Hey guys, Hector Castillo Poppy from girlschase.com. Today I want to talk about the three ways that women fall in love. Now, there are many ways beyond this that women fall in love. This is a patternization of how I see women falling in love. And this will maybe help simplify things for you when you're considering how does seduction work and why do women fall in love with certain men and not with other men. So it's not the only perspective, but it is a three pronged perspective that can give you a blueprint for how love becomes something in their heart and in their mind and why it's directed at certain men. So I see women falling in love from these three perspectives. It starts physically, primally, and it then turns into more of a conceptual or emotional level. On the other hand, there's the opposite approach where women will be first emotionally drawn to a man. Then this emotion will turn into lust and turn into desire. Then lastly, there is women who are drawn in by a man's physicalness and his emotionalness. Ooh, emotionalness? Yeah, I think that's a word. And his intellectuality. But I would kind of group the intellectual with the emotional because it's the way that he's speaking and acting that affects her here and then it affects her down there. So he goes after both at the same time. Now, this has two variables. One, it's the woman's disposition. Some women are more affected by intellectualness or emotional behavior and then become lustful of men afterwards. There's women who consider themselves sapiosexual. This is how they describe themselves. And so this would kind of align with those types of women. Now, to be clear, all women are attracted physically to certain men. And for the most part, there are universal attractors of men who look good. They're in good shape, tall, strong, but it's a spectrum. And so it's a question of how much is she attracted by these factors? Or maybe she is attracted by those factors, but she's she is naturally resistant or purposefully resistant to that attraction until she feels she is intellectually or emotionally interested in this man. So it depends on her disposition to a certain extent, but it also depends on the man's main strength as well and the way he expresses himself. So is he a more physical man? Does he express himself more through his physicalness or his physical expressions, the way that he moves, the way that he touches her, the way that he acts, or is he more linguistic? Is he more about speaking his attractiveness and getting to know her and saying the words and painting the pictures in her mind that she likes to hear and to see and to think about. And then he gains attraction from women through that. And then lastly, there's women who can kind of go either way. They like men physically, but they also like them very emotionally. The women in my experience tend to fall into one of the camps, but it's a spectrum. This third perspective, or this third way that women fall in love is more of the man's uh, approach because it's a combination of the two. So he takes advantage of both the physical and the emotional or intellectual. Now, ideally, you would go this route and you would be vo very physically attractive, very physically expressive, but also intellectual and you can speak and you can make her feel emotions with your words. However, you are going to have one or more strength and I do suggest that you play into that more and that you focus on women who more play your game. Ideally, again, every woman would love us, every attractive woman would love us, and she would lust after us and want us. It doesn't work out that way. So I would say focus on your strength, but you need to get your weakness to a certain point that it has a baseline attractiveness. Though I will admit, if you are mostly physical, but not very intellectual, 
you're going to be a little bit better off than someone who is all intellectual but not physical. So someone who is more on the intellectual and gets women interested through his words and the conversations and building a connection, I suggest that you really get your physical together. It'll have a really great effect. If you're physical but not so intellectual and emotional, you're going to get away with a lot more because you're going to be tapping into just that very intuitive primal desire. But of course, it would be better if you learned how to actually spit game and to speak to women and have connections with them. But sometimes even as a curse, because you might be thinking, oh, well, fuck. Those men who get that success, they might have the best women kind of, the best women in my experience don't like men purely physically. They require both or mostly intellectual. But the men who are mostly physical are gonna have a lot of success and that might make them kind of lazy where they don't have to do a lot of work. So how does this work? Now, what happens with someone who's mostly physical or a girl who's mostly appealed by the physical is they let their immediate lust and immediate emotions control their desires. What you see is these women focus on the physical mostly. They're mostly drawn to certain types of men that look, look in certain ways or are built in certain ways, gym bodies, bigger guys, stronger guys, more traditionally masculine men. And they feel that feeling and they just follow it. And it, they spend a lot of time at the gym or they spend a lot of time in more attractive circles. They spend uh, a lot of time on social media and they're very drawn to it. So they're more drawn by primalness. So they have that physical attraction to a man and the men who they're usually going after fall into that category. And those men are, tend to be more physically attractive, more touchy, more dominant, more assertive. And the, the sparks fly very fast and they get very hot and heavy and very intimate and they start having sex. And that sex is going to more quickly, deep down it's just about, they start fucking and then a woman falls in love, okay? So she falls in love through sex and physical attraction and sex is the culmination of that physical attraction. So they start having sex and she falls in love with him because of that sex. Now this works even with men who are more intellectual, but maybe they don't connect with the girl in a way that she thinks this is the kind of guy that I end up dating. But when, what ends up happening is that she starts fucking a guy and just falls in love because she's fucking him a lot. And this physicalness has a much more powerful effect on her falling in love than the emotional. Now a man or a woman who goes the emotional route these are the girls who maybe end up actually dating a guy who was a friend for a long time or a guy she knew for a long time. Maybe she was always attracted, but she built up a connection with him first, then started sleeping with him. So she gains a great connection with him. Then once they sleep together, then the process kind, kind of gets a kick start. The problem with this is, is that it sometimes take a, takes a long time unless you have a very world-class connection and very strong chemistry with her. So this approach, usually goes a little bit slower. Once it gets started, it's pretty much like when this girl sleeps with you, she's definitely gonna be with you. Whereas going the physical route, so this might, it goes beyond just physical or, or personality dispositions. If you go the route of sleeping with a girl very quickly, because even if you're mostly an emotional and intellectual guy, but you seduce her to get in bed with you and you're fucking her good, she's gonna fall in love much more quickly. This is to your advantage and to her advantage as well. So. I suggest that you follow this route. And this is why we teach men to move quickly, to sleep with women quickly, because going to her heart through her pussy is much faster than going to her heart through her mind. However, if you go the third route where you do both, what happens is you sleep with women very quickly and you're very physically appealing, even if you're not the best looking guy in the best shape. So I don't want you to get too lost in that. that oh, it's dumb meatheads and it's smart guys and they get slow and these guy, guys get all the pussy and girls fall in love with them. It's not that simple. What I'm saying is you wanna have a certain strategy to focus on, maybe your game is intellectual and emotional, but you focus on getting physically very quick, quickly with a woman. Then you start to unveil the emotional sides of yourself. Then the falling in love process happens far more quickly and far more powerful because now you're going through her pussy and her mind and you're meeting at her heart. And so you're kind of double penetrating her with just you. You got two dicks. 
So you're having a lot of fun and she's having a lot of fun and you're making a very strong connection very quickly. So what I suggest that you do for most guys out there, especially the men who are more intellectual and emotional, focus on the physical. This doesn't just mean getting in good shape and dressing well and learning how to express yourself and being more touchy and more assertive. It can mean that, but what I'm saying is most of attraction or the fastest way to attraction, but also most attraction is happening on a physical level. Women will say this is not necessarily true and they like a man with a personality and they do. Remember, this isn't about dumb meathead. What it means is the path to her heart is through her pussy. So focus on getting her lusting and getting her turned on. That should be your focus. You should also focus on connecting with her, yes, and making a bond with her and her feeling similar to you. But you wanna focus mostly on getting physical quickly and then the intellectual. If you go only this route, the intellectual without the physical, it sometimes is a lot slower and it just doesn't work out so much. Now, this breakdown of how attraction works and how to make a woman fall in love and why women fall in love comes down to the basics of attraction that Chase teaches in his course one day, which is SAC. It's called Similarity, Arousal, and Compliance. Similarity is the emotional route, the intellectual route. She feels connected with you. It's very important and some girls lean towards that disposition where they care more about a connection. Some women are more arousal based. They're more adventurous. They care more about f uh, physical appearance. Uh, they're more touchy. They're more um, um, physically emotional. And so that works for them more. Then there's compliance, which is just the more that a woman does with you and spends time with, time with you, then the more she is going to fall in love with you. What I'm telling you to do is to focus more on arousal, a little bit of similarity and building compliance. And the best compliance you can build is sleeping with a girl quickly. So that was a 15 minute way of me saying, fuck women quickly. At the same time, show them that you are a cool guy that they can connect with, but focus more on the sex because then once you're sleeping together, you can unveil more of your intellectual side and emotional side and bond with her. And she's going to fall in love much more quickly, which means you're gonna to get to the place that you wanna get much more quickly, which is you two being in love, okay? Cool. Hector Castillo Poppy from girlschase.com teaching you the three ways that women fall in love. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, ring the bell, check out one date in the description below. That's the course that explains more how to actually apply this process and to get the results that you want. So check it out in the description below and good luck and I'll see you soon, ciao.